So, hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Gummy, and today we are here with another statue tutorial on the second channel, of course, continuing with the FNAF World series. So today we are doing something that's been requested for a long, long time, back from FNAF 2, in fact, um, because this character was in FNAF 2. I'm not going to say what the official name in FNAF World is, because it's a bit of a mouthful, to say the least. Uh, but we're just going to regard this character as Shadow Bonnie. So, of course, Shadow Bonnie being in FNAF 2, um, I got a lot of requests back then, and now I'm getting even more now, so I thought, hey, let's do it. It's a pretty easy statue to do, and as you can see here by my materials, only requires three different blocks. So, those blocks are the following. You'll need black wool, block of coal, and quartz, um, and that's, yeah, that's it. It's as simple as that. If you're on console, use a map. If you're on PC, press F3. Saves you counting. Useful trip. Uh, trip? Where are we going? Useful tip. Um, to say the least for building in the future because it means you don't have to count and counting is long and I'm lazy so hey but with that said again that's all you need and we're now going to jump straight on into the tutorial so we're going to start off with the legs or at least the front of the legs for now and that's 12 tall by 8 wide and we do this layer by layer 12 layers in total so the first layer is 8 black wool Again, that's 8 black wool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The second layer is 8 block of coal. The third layer is black wool. So is the fourth, and so is the fifth. The sixth layer is also block of coal. The seventh and eighth is black wool. Then the ninth layer is three black wool, two coal, three black wool. The next layer is two black wool, one coal, two black wool, coal, two black wool. The next layer is two coal, four black wool, two coal. And the next layer is eight black wool. If I can place it correctly, that is, which I clearly can't, apparently. Um, but as you can see, that is 12 tall, 8 wide. Way to prove it to you, as I said, without counting. Doing it the uh, legit way. We're going to go to the floor level. You can see here, Y level is 5. If you go up to here, it should be 12 blocks off of that, so it's 17. Again, your floor level might be, say, 10, should be 22. Might be 1, should be 13. So it's just 12 blocks up from the floor level. And that will prove to you that it's 12 tall. Simple. Um, but yeah, you can do this on PC, again, by pressing F3. I don't know how it works on Mobile Edition. Not too sure about that, or Pocket Edition, should I say. Um, so if anyone wants to leave a comment down below telling me if that's a thing, that would be great, because I don't actually own a copy of Pocket Edition, uh, which is surprising. I probably should. Anyways, moving on to the next part, which is the body. What we're going to do is on the left side and the right side, we're going to place one black wall. On the left side, we're going to go one, two, three four over to the left side and on the right side we're going to go one two three four over to the right side using black wool as you can see should look like this extends four on left four on right we're not going to worry about this for now we'll come back to that later on in the video for now we're going to worry about the body so what we're going to do is in this gap here of six black wool um or we're going to fill it with six black wool should i say but it's a gap of six the second layer of the body, again the body by the way being 12 by 8 as well, so the exact same as the legs, is 1 black wall, 6 coal, 1 black wall. The next layer is 1 coal, 1 black wall, 4 coal, black wall, coal. Next layer is black wall, 6 coal, black wall. And then we're going to do that 5 more times, so 1 two, three, four, and five. So right now, this part here should be six tall, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, so it's six tall. The next layer is two black wool, four coal, two black wool, and then the final two layers is simply eight black wall 
And once you've done that, that brings you to the top of the statue, or to the top of the body, should I say. And it should be looking something like this. So, as you can see, again, this part here starts on the second layer of the body. And this is like the chest area, where you have a slightly different gradient of black. Hence why we're using coal. You could use obsidian if you wanted to. However, it has a bit of a purplish tint to it. If I can find it, that is. There it is. So it has a bit of a purple tint to it, so it's not ideal. Um, but I've chosen to use black and coal. Okie dokie. So again, this part here should be six tall. And it should also be four wide. Six wide if you're including it in general, like what it should be. Um, and yeah, in general it should be 22... Uh, blocks so 24 in total off of floor level so as you can see that's 29 in my case uh, but again it should be 24 off of floor level I believe I just said 22 that was a mistake ignore that 24 um, off floor level so right now as you can see it should be 24 tall 8 wide 16 wide if you're including the arms which we haven't built yet but that's what we're going to work on now so we're going to go to the left arm first and we're going to go up layer by layer the arm is 12 by 4 12 tall 4 wide um, and we're going to go layer by layer as i just said so the first layer we have already done is four black wool on top of this we're going to place another layer of four black wool and then a layer of four coal the next three layers is black wool then we have a layer of coal and then to top it off we have five layers of black wool that will bring you to the top the same height as the front of the body as you can see 12 tall 4 wide that consists of two layers of black wool layer of coal three layers of black wool layer of coal and five layers of black wool the other side is the exact same so if you want to be a speedy gonzalez skip ahead then feel free to do so but i'll go for it nevertheless just in case you want me to so the first layer and second layer again is four black wool the third layer is four coal and it should link up with this one here is something to bear in mind on either side this block there and this block here should link up next three layers is black wool then we have a layer of coal and then to bring us to the top we have five layers of black wool as you can see here again matches up perfectly that's a good sign that's always reassuring when it does that and you should have something that looks like this now with that said that is the front of the statue complete however it is looking a tad flat a bit 2d not too statue like more like a pixel art so we're going to work on the sides, but before we do that, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause if you need to do so. So this is the front of the body and the front of the arms, the front of the body being 12 by 8, front of the arm being 12 by 4 on either side. And then of course we have the front of the legs as I do my like slow-mo panoramic uh, fly down and we have 12 by 8 for the legs. So again, if you want to pause, that would probably be a good time to do so. If you don't have something looking like this, then don't move on because it just worsens the problem and wastes your time a bit more um, and if you are struggling let me know down in the comments below and I'll try and help you as much as possible anyways with that said we're now going to come to the bottom left corner now and start working on the side of the legs so what we're going to start off by doing is going one two three to the left gives you a 12 by 4 like template I guess um, but you can see it's like a backwards L now what we're going to be doing is we're only placing three blocks on each row because we've got this column here and three plus one column equals four and the side of the legs is 12 by four so it's very very simple and it's just a case of matching whatever block is already pre-existent here so could it be any simpler i could probably build it for you and that would probably be a tad simpler but apart from that it's about as easy as it gets so the first layer is black wool second is free coal the next three layers is black wool a layer of coal next four layers is black wool then we've got a layer of coal and then finally, the layer of free black wool. So again, that's a 12 by 4 consists of one layer of black wool, coal, three layers of black wool, coal, four layers of black wool, coal, and you guessed it, black wool. So, should look like this once you've done that. And the good news is, the other side is the exact same, so it's very, very easy. Um, so again, we come around to the right side, expand backwards, one, two, three, using our black wool. Second layer is coal, three layers of black wool, layer of coal, four layers of black wool, layer of coal, and finally the layer of black wool so again 12 by 4 should look something like this and it's starting to look a tad more 3d uh, but what we're going to do is go around to the rear side of the statue and start working on the hands and i've completely just like uh, uh, bumped into a brick wall there um apparently i don't have the ability to fly around but hey let's start on the back of the arms 
So, or should I say the side of the arms? Um, what we're going to do is come around to the back side. should be looking like this. It looks a tad weird, but we'll work on that in the very near future. So what we're going to do is go to the bottom of the hands on either side. We're going to go one, two, three, all the way across using our black wall. If you've done it properly, it should be a 4x4 four four square from below. And we're going to do the exact same on the other side. So we just bring it backwards. Three blocks on each row, and there's four rows in total. And if you come below, you'll notice it's a 4x4 four four square. Okay, so again, it should look something like this. It will connect up diagonally to the side of the legs. And then we're going to come around to the left side of the left arm, and we're going to work on that first. So again, like I said on the legs, it's very, very simple. It's just whatever block is at the side we're going to place. In total, it's 12 by 4. However, we have this row here, so we're only placing three blocks on each row. So anyways, the first layer, which we already have, is just black wall. Same with the second. Third layer is coal. The next three layers is black wall. We have a layer of coal, next five layers is black wall. So it's the exact same as the front, and therefore in term it's the exact same as this pillar here. So again, as long as everything matches up properly, you are good to go. And just to recap that one more time, it's two rows of four black wall, each row being, or each uh, layer should I say, being four. The first two layers, black wall, then we have a layer of coal, three layers of black wall, coal, and then five layers of black wall. Other side, right side, the exact same. So the first two layers is black wool, coal, three layers of black wool, coal, and then five layers of black wool. Okie dokie. So with that said, that is the sides complete. This is the right side, again 12 by 4. And we have the right side of the leg 12 by 4. Coming around to the left side, we have the left side of the leg 12 by 4. And the left side of the arm 12 by 4. So it's looking a bit more complete. However... When you come around to the rear side, you are presented with this, and you have noticed there's a big empty gap. What we're going to do is fill that in, and we're going to start off at the back of the legs. So, in case life could not get any more easy, any more simple, it just did. The back of the legs is just matching up again. And in fact, it probably does get simpler, just as a mini spoiler. Um, so... Again, 12 by 8, we have a row either side, one row, one row. Minus that from the 8 means we're only placing 6 blocks on each row, and each row is the exact same as whatever block is at the side. So it's just, again, a case of matching up. So first layer is 6 black wool, and we have 6 coal. 3 layers of 6 black wool. A layer of 6 coal. Then we have 4 layers of 6 black wool. A layer of six coal and then finally a layer of six black wool once you've done that again 12 by 8 should look like this again very very simple but as I said as like a second ago it gets even easier so the rear of the body because you can't actually see the body in game or the rear of it should I say we're going on the fact that there's probably not too much detail so, the rear of the body is simply a 12 by 8 of black wool. So what we're going to do is just go up to the top of the legs here and just build up 12. You can estimate, and then all you need to do is build across from the front. And if it matches up, you've done it correctly. So, again, just build up until you're 24 blocks from ground level. And that will be a good indication that you have done it well. So again, just building up 12 each time, 8 in total. And that will give you your 12 by 8 of black wall. You can go ahead and connect the front side and the rear side now on the top upper part. And that will give you part of the shoulders. And we'll worry about the other part once we've finished the rear of the arms. One thing we are going to add, because it's Nightmare Bonnie and Bonnie is a bunny. We're going to add a bunny tail. If you don't want to add that, and don't, that's up to you. This is like an optional addition. We don't know if it's there. We can't confirm it. Um, but we're just going to presume. So we have added a bunny tail to the other bunny designs and it was quite well received, so that's why we're doing it today. Apologies if my voice is kind of cross really croaky, by the way. I don't know why that is. Um, so what we're going to do is come around to the bottom left corner of the body, which is the row that starts in line with the beginning of the hands, and we're going to go up one, so it's the second layer here. We're then going to go one, two, three, and on the fourth and fifth block, place two coal, but make sure it's 3D. We're not punching into the statue, we're building on top. The next row, we go up diagonal to left and right, and then on top of that, we build up one on either side, and then we go in diagonal on either side, and it gives us a circle that looks like this. 
in the middle there's a two by two gap we're gonna fill that in using our coal block and there is your bunny tail so again just to give you an idea of where it is it's centered right in the middle so there should be a three block gap on either side or a two block gap if you're in the middle two columns and it's two blocks up from this row of coal right there okie dokie so with that said we're now going to start working on the back of the arms again they are 12 by 4 column already here we're only placing three blocks in each row and again it's just matching up so on the right side first or the back of the right arm left arm from the back perspective if that makes any sense the first two layers is black wool layer of coal three layers of black wool layer of coal and then five layers of black wool that'll bring you up to the top the same height level as everything else and then we're now going to go over to here do the exact same two layers of black wool layer of coal three layers of black wool a layer of coal and then five layers of black wool okie dokie so once you've done that it should look like this again pretty much the same as every other side on the statue it's very very similar very symmetrical uh, we come to the top now for the shoulders we just fill this in using black wool and that will give you a 16 by 4 16 wide 4 deep um, shoulders like so and with that said and done that is your body complete so as I said, it is pretty plain in the sense it's just black, because that's what Shadow Bonnie is. It's like a shadow, so it's dark. Um, but what we're going to do before we move on to the head, which is where we start incorporating some quartz, making it look a tad spooky, um, is we're going to do a quick spin around. So this is the front of the legs, again, 12 by 8. Feel free to pause whenever you feel it's necessary. I'm not going to remind you every time, because it would mean saying it like 20 different times and... That's probably a tad irritating for you, and it definitely is for me. So, this is the front side, 12 by 8. We have the front of the body, again 12 by 8, and the front of each arm, 12 by 4. Coming around to the left side, we have the left side of the leg, I was about to say arm, 12 by 4. Left side of the arm, 12 by 4. Right side of the leg, 12 by 4. And the right side of the arm, you guessed, 12 by 4. Coming around to the rear side, 12 by 8 for the back of the legs. 12 by 4 for the back of each arm and 12 by 8 for the back of the body with 16 by 4 for the shoulders. So, on the basis you've got something looking like this, you are ready to move on to the head. Now, this again isn't too difficult, shouldn't take too long, but do take your time because there is a bit of like colour variation in this and it could get a tad confusing if you don't do it correctly. Uh, but anyways, with that little like warning, we're going to go to the front side, so the side with a lot of coal, basically, and go to the top left corner of the arm. We're then going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and on the fifth block to the right, we're going to place a black wall and bring it two forwards. We're then going to go to the right side, this time going to the left, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and on the fifth block, we're going to place a black wall and bring it two forwards. If you do it correctly, there should be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 block gap in between, and that will give you an 8 by 2 overhang, as you can see right here. Then what we're going to do is go around to the side, and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 backwards, same for this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then join together by placing 6 blocks in the middle, and that will give you an 8 by 8 square, um, which looks something like this. Again, should overhang 2 blocks on either side and should be centered nicely so we're going to start off with the front side first because it's the only side with detail and will be the longest side which is not saying much because there's like nothing um so what we're going to do for the first layer we've got our eight black wool for the second layer what we're going to do is indent so we're not going to place our row here we're going to place it on this column here and we're going to place eight coal blocks like so then what we're going to do is get our quartz, and on the first block of the actual row, we're going to place one quartz, leave a one block gap, place another, leave a two block gap, place one more, leave a one block gap, and place the final one. Four in total should look like this. Now it looks a tad weird, but what we're going to go ahead and do is on top of the quartz, we're going to place a row of eight coal. And once you've done that, it kind of makes a bit more sense. It starts to look a bit more like a mouth, um, and that is the mouth complete. The next row on top of this, the fourth row, is again eight coal the fifth row is one black wall two quartz two black wall two quartz one black wall and the next row is the exact same the sixth row is one black two quartz two black two quartz one black wall the seventh and eighth row 
is simply 8 black wool. And once you've done that, that will give you your 8x8 eight eight square, which is, of course, your face. It's not personally your face, but Shadow Bonnie's face, just to point that out, just in case any confusion. Um, but yeah, you can see here, this is what it looks like so far. It looks a tad weird. What we're going to go ahead and do is get our coal blocks, and on these two rows of coal here, we're essentially just going to bring this forwards one block. So we're going to place an 8x2 of coal. However, on the second row and the fourth and fifth blocks, the two centre blocks, we're going to replace it and place two black wool as like the nose, and this is like the upper jaw, I guess, and then this would be the lower jaw. You can expand this out one block if you want, but then it starts to look a bit bulky, starts to make him look like he's been eating a bit too much. Um, but yeah, it looks alright if you do that, so I'd recommend just sticking to that. Again, just to point out, these two coal blocks and then the two on either side is indented one block, and once you've done that, it should look roughly like this. I say roughly, it should look exactly like this, because it's not too difficult to do. So what we're going to do now is come around to the left side and you'll notice it looks something like this. Simply all we're going to do is on top of this coal block we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then for the rest of them we just go up 7 all the way around and we follow the template of the head that we have built and then it will bring us all the way around back to the front. So every side is pretty much just plain black wall because we can't really add any detail when it's a shadow. Um, so we just go up seven all the way around using our black wool and as you can see it loops all the way back around to the right side of the face or the right side of the front of the head um, and then on top of the coal block on this side again you just go up six same as the other side and that will complete more or less the head. So as you can see so what it looks like from the right side you have the one coal block here the two there and the quartz and the rest is an 8x8 of black wool. Coming around to the rear side, you have an 8x8 of black wool, and the left side, the exact same as the right side, 8x8 of black wool, minus the two coal here, one coal there, and the one quartz. So, that leaves us with one side and two ears. The one side is, of course, the top, so we're going to go ahead and fill that in using our black wool, and once you've done that, that will give you, again, an 8x8, and that will finish off the head, which is an 8x8x8 cube. Um, and then, what all we're left to do is build the ears. So you can do them, similar to what we do on the Bonnie statues, or some of the older ones, where you simply just build them 2D, so it's like one layer thick. However, we're going to make them 3D in this case. So what we're going to do is go to the left corner, front side, go to the second block in, and we're going to place one black wall, one coal, one black. We're then going to leave two blocks and place one black wall, one coal, one black. We're then going to do that one more. So on top, one black, coal, black, black, coal, black. So it's two tall. We're then going to come around to the rear side of this, so behind it, and place a 3x2 of black wool. Now, if you're doing the 2D version, you wouldn't need to do that, um, but of course we're doing the 3D version, so you do. On top of this part we've just built here, at the front side, we're going to place a 3x3 three three of black wool. Like so. And then what we're going to do is in front of that, place another 3x3. Three three. So we simply place a 3x3 three three on top. And bring it forwards one, so it's too thick. And it should give you a shape that looks like this. From the side, that's what it looks like. From the rear side, it looks like this. And then from the front side, of course, it looks like this. What we're then going to do is get our coal and punch out the two, like the center lower and mid-mid. That's what I'm going to call it. On either one and replace it with coal. And once you've done that, that is it. That is your statue complete. And you have built your very own Shadow Bonnie. Now, one thing to point out is that it does look a tad better on PC in the sense that the coal blocks don't look so distinguished and don't have such a weird texture. Um, but it's still a really nice statue. So hopefully you did enjoy. Again, credit to Lazar for the awesome design. And yeah, stick around for more FNAF World tutorials in the very near future, as well as some new content that I'll be bringing to the channel. If all goes to plan, I will be trying to do some Funko Pop videos on here because it's something I collect in my spare time. Uh, it gives me a use for my camera. Gives me a bit more like time to play around with it, get used to it, and just make some new videos. Because all I've done on my YouTube career so far is make Minecraft videos. And it would be cool to make some new style stuff. And maybe do some like Funko Pop unboxing slash reviews. So if that sounds cool, let me know down in the comments below. I'm like sticking my thumbs up like you can see me. Just, just know I'm sticking my thumbs up. So let me know if you liked it. If you disliked it, then let me know why. Again, I smacked my microphone. Apologies. 
um, and I'll try and improve. But with that said, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, check out my main channel, check out Frost the Network, check them out, check out all of them. Um, follow me on Twitter at Gummy Bear Games. I, I'm just going to plug Instagram Real Gummy. And uh, yeah, that's the end of that. So thank you very much for watching. Till next time, my name has been Tomagami, and I'll see you in the next video. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light. Shine through if you believe it's true. Baby, won't you let the light shine through?